Mr. Ed here. Today is June 15, 2019, and if you can guess where I am, it'd be the Beehive House. And it's been three years since I've been here to remove bees that have moved in. I've been catching bees with our swarm traps here now for going on six years now, but this is the first time in three years that the bees decide to move into the building instead of on our traps. So today I'm here with Good Time Charlie and a monk from Arch Abbey uh, St. Vincent's in, in Pennsylvania. And he there, he's down here. Bob is down here for the, um, there's a convention for the monks and he's down here with that. And so he's, he's gonna, he wants to come wrangle some bees with us. They've got, uh, I think he said five hives up there at St. Vincent's and he's interested in, in moving bees up there. So he wants to see what this wrangling business is all about. So by the grace of God, we're gonna take these bees that have moved into this ceiling area right here. We're gonna remove them and we're gonna bring them back up to the Abbey. Let's do some wrangling. <laughs> well, here's where our bees have decided to move in, into this area of this floor space right here. So all I'm gonna do, get my jigsaw out. Ralph's not here, Wreck-It Ralph's not here, so I've got the job. I'll just cut this out and we'll expose the hive and see how big it is. Now, I don't believe this hive has been, the most it's been here is a month, maybe six weeks but it could have been here as little as three weeks. So we'll find out just how much these bees have built in that little short period of time, and then we'll transfer them out of here. And here they are, folks. They have built a tremendous amount of comb in just this short period of time. But as you can see, it's all white. A lot of bees, a lot of bees. I've already sealed off this end down here. Um, so I don't want the bees to run down here. And uh, so I've sealed this thing off. So I don't have to chase bees down here. And I'm going to start vacuuming from this end. That is quite an impressive looking hive to be here for such a short period of time. We're going to start the vacuum. Got my queen catcher. And we're going to move these bees. Woo -wee. That's pretty.
taken out, gee whiz, it must be about 10 pieces of comb. This stuff is so soft. I'm finally getting to some of it that's a little bit firmer. And the greater piece just, I mean, just fell right down. I mean, it just exploded once it hit the table. It's so, the comb is so soft and there's, it's, it's very difficult to frame the stuff up. And you don't want any wet comb in there, particularly at this time of year when the beetles start really getting crazy. So I'm keeping the comb as dry as I can. I think I've got two good pieces right now that I can start framing up. The other stuff, I'm just going to have to squeeze it out and then just feed it to the bees. Because these bees need this nectar right now because we're almost at the end of our honey flow. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. Wee. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Thank you, Jesus. Wow, what a monster queen that is. Pull that comb off. And, and generally what I do is when I pull it off, I look at the comb behind the one I just took off. Because I don't worry if she's on the one I took off, I can get her. But if she's on the one that I take off, I don't see her and she can run behind it. And <laughs> but I did see her and I just grabbed her. So thank you, Jesus. Boy, this is going to make our job so much easier now. We can just vacuum bees and, and get this stuff out of here. Wow, that is a treat. Woo! <laughs> well, again, I didn't have my video running when I should have. I, I took, the, uh, took the hose off and the gate wasn't closed. And, and yeah, there's a bee stinging me in my veil right now. <laughs> and uh, man, I mean, those bees came out hot. So now I had to put my veil back on, put my suit back on, because the bees are all mad. But we got it all closed up and, and uh, everything is good to go. So that's what, all I got for you in this video. Got the queen, got the, man, we got 15, 18,000 bees in here. We're headed up to the abbey we're gonna turn them loose. So that's all we got for you. So thanks for watching, keep on watching. And I'll be making more. God bless, Mr. Red. I'm out of here until the next video. <laughs>